Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the bridge today. Alright guys, thanks for joining me for Greg's Beer Reviews today. I found this one in the back of the fridge. I have had this beer for several years. And this is Iniquity. This is their Imperial Black Ale. This comes in at 9%. I think that's what it was. Uh, and a lot of those beers... Uh, when they're black ales, uh, some of them are more like a, uh, a brown ale, and some of them are more like an IPA. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have read somewhere, I don't see where it's at, also, it says also referred as a black IPA or a Cascadian dark ale. Now some of these beers are hop forward. If this beer is hop forward, it has lost its hoppiness for sure. I have probably had this beer. It's one of the oldest beers in the fridge. It's probably been down there three or four years. So uh, hopefully it's not going to be too bad. At 9%, I know the beer is not going to go bad, but if it was hot forward, it definitely probably uh, lost its hot presence. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence of what this is going to bring to us here today. So, uh, And uh, I think Southern Tier dates their stuff now, but this, I've had this bottle so long. This is before they were dating anything. This, this beer has no date on it. So... We'll find out what this beer brings. Like I said, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I probably should have done this beer a long time ago, but at 9%, I was going to sell it for a little while just, just to see what happens. I'm a big fan of Southern Tier. I like their 2X IPAs and their, uh, uh, just about everything that they do. Now, there are some that I don't care a lot for, but most of the stuff that Southern Tier does uh, is pretty tasty. So, The food pairings for this beer, uh, are, uh, it, it has none yet listed there. Uh, since a black IPA or black ale is not officially a, a style of beer, not like a, like the rest of the beer, like a Pilsner or a Lager or, or an IPA or stuff like that, they have des their designated recognized categories where the, uh, the black ale and the black IPAs are not yet. But they will be, you, you mark my words, they will be entered and, and classified before too long. I, I feel pretty comfortable about it. Uh, this is, a, this is a big beer at 9%, so it's going to go with your stronger dishes and your stronger cheeses. The, uh, the glass bar is a pint becker, the nonic, the tumbler, the stein, the sidel, oversized wine glass. I got the double glass for this 9%er today. Uh, we'll, uh, I like to pour those, those style darker beers into this type of glass. And it, it says uh, not recommended for extended salary, I say the ABV extends average range. Well, at 9%, <clears throat> I think it extends, uh, exceeds the average range. So, like I said, this may be past its prime, guys. So, let's find out. Like I said, I've had this beer. This is one of the oldest beers that I've had. It's more brown coming out of the bottle than it is black. Let's get in the glass, over to the light. It is a rich red ruby. Uh, this looks more like a, uh, to me it looks more like a, uh, either a, a, a dark brown ale or a, uh, or a porter in the glass. Because I can see the light through it. It is a rich red ruby colored. A lot of bubbles streaming up, so let's get a nose on it. Heavy maltiness on this. I'm getting dark fruit, dark cherries. I am getting a hint of the alcohol. A 
but it is definitely not hop forward. It isn't now anyway. Now it may have been when it was freshly put into the bottle. Like I said, it may be a little bit past its prime as far as getting any hop notes or hop characteristics out of this beer after about three or four years. But we're going to find out. Cheers, everybody. Let's see what it tastes like. Very sweet. Pears. Pears. Figs, dates, raisins. A lot of dark fruit in there. Rich malt. Definitely on the sweet side now. Not a big hot presence in this. Maybe just a little bit of herbal or uh, floral hops. But it, it may have had a stronger hot presence when it was fresh. It's got a rich, sweet maltiness to it. It's pretty good. But I'm not sure it's exactly what they anticip anticipated to be fresh in the bottle. I keep saying that, but I know for a fact I've had this beer a long time. To me, it's drinking more like a porter than a black ale. Getting a hint of chocolate in there too now. But it's 40 degrees right out of the fridge. We'll let it warm up and see how it changes. See if we get anything else out of it when I come back. So it's a 22 ounce bottle. Uh, I've got to share it the other half. And uh, I just got a feeling in the back of my mind that this beer was a lot hoppier when it was fresh in the bottle than it is now. So that's the, the, down, the downfall of, of, uh, of cellaring beers that are hop forward. Uh, you are going to lose that hop characteristic. It's going to fade over time. So, especially that long of a time. But still, rather pleasant. So let's let's let it warm up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left. Been sipping on this in about 35, 45 minutes. Basically, the hops have faded in this beer. What I'm getting is a rich, caramely, toffee, malty uh, beer with. Uh, Hints of dark fruit, dark cherries, and uh, raisins, and plums, and figs. Uh, there is some chocolate in there. But there is, uh, basically, the hops have faded in this one. And it is a big beer. This is a sipper at 9%, uh, not a chugger. But it's very tasty. Uh, I got a feeling, like I said earlier, that it's, uh, it's, it's not as hoppy as it originally was when it was put in the bottle. So... Uh, if, if it's intended to be a black IPA, it is not there. It, those hops have faded now. This is more like a this is more like a porter now than it is a, a black a black ale or a black IPA. So it aged very well. I mean, it, it is very tasty. Uh, just a slight hint of the alcohol, not not very not very much, but it, it is still there. At nine percent, it's still there. But it's pretty tasty. The other half enjoyed it. So did I. So uh, this this beer does age well. So let's do the final chug here. Wow! Very nice. Very very nice. I enjoyed this beer, even though the hops, I'm sure, have faded. If it's intended to be a black IPA, but. Rich, malty, caramel, toffee, dark fruit. A little on the sweet side now that it's uh, that it's been in the fridge three or four years, but still aged very well. I enjoyed this one. Uh, very nice, very tasty. So, guys, uh, I want to give this. I want to. I want to give it. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm right on the fence between a seven and an eight. Uh, <coughs> Giving them the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to probably go ahead and give them the 8 instead of the 7. 
Uh, even though it doesn't have a date on it, I think Southern Care does date their beers now. But like I said, I've had this one for quite a while uh, before they were dating their stuff. So it's uh, it's an A beer. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna go ahead and step up to the plate and say it's an A beer and give it the eight, which is A minus. So uh, and I enjoyed it. It was tasty. So let's go see what everybody else thinks about it. We'll go over to Rate Beer first, and Rate Beer says 92, which is in their outstanding range. Uh, Pretty tasty. I wouldn't argue with that. If I was putting a numeric rating on this beer, uh, it would it would be between 90 and, and a 92, 93, somewhere in that area. So, very tasty. Uh, Sellered very well, guys. As far as I'm concerned, uh, over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer is uh, pretty impressive numbers there. They have overall at 98 and, and 96 in the style for a, for a black ale. I would not give it that big of a number of being cellared for this long, uh, and that's no uh, that's 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 no uh, downgrading on the beer because, like I said, I got a feeling it was a lot hoppier when it was put in the bottle than it is now. So, but on the other hand, it it cellared very well. So I enjoyed this one, uh, even though I am a hop head and I like that hoppy uh, hoppy taste in a beer. This one has subsided and and, and it's more malty and more uh, dark fruity to me than uh, than most of your black IPAs or your black ales are now uh, fresh in the bottle. So 98 overall, 96 in the style from them. Uh, like I said, since this beer has been uh, cellared or aged for for quite a few years now, it's still very tasty but not hop forward. So, With that being said, if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one. Whether you thought it was a real hot bomb uh, with a fresh bottle or, or, or you agree with uh, what it is. Like I said, I've not had a fresh bottle. This is the first time I've had this beer. So I do not know what to compare it to with a fresh bottle. So, With that being said, guys, hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.